Hey people, Intrate here, 2v2, Ruins of Argus, blue team. Mist is a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support alongside Moon Gecko with a Plague Champion. Starts off with the damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support can also build turrets and repair. Red team, Maythor with a Farsia support hero fighting in melee with some powerful buffs and control. The Exodites elite scheme here. And rounding off the teams, Dragon Law is a force commander. Very strong offense fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt, and support Space Wolves elite scheme. With, for some reason, a big bear pelt. Not sure what's going on there. I do think he has a really cool face. And I like the rest of the scheme, but not sure about the, the bear head. Not sure where they got that head from. Is it from a Lord General or something? Dragon Law with more scouts on the way. The attacks are oh, those scouts, I should say, make it into the garrison. These guys taking a lot of damage. You saw that there. All those bolt gun shots going onto the same model, and they get one off of Dragon Law's attacks. That was kind of unlucky for Dragon Law. Moon Gecko with some more heretics on the way. Really backed off with their Plague Champion and the CSM wanting to wait for the heretics to come in. They're most likely to just make a beeline for the for the attacks here. More scouts coming into play. There's a Doom Blast for the Force Commander to suppress him. Which might have been worth it. The tax go for the garrison. They did grab the wreck point. Heretic's going to bleed models here and then run. Now they're focusing fire on the scouts. Should get a model pretty quickly. There it is. Now the Force Commander wades in. They should be able to deal with him just splitting and shooting. Meanwhile, northeast. Some Termigants got sliced up by Howling Banshees. Looks like it was double Hormagaunts into the Banshees for Mist on the natural power too. Guardian's getting some shots in. Farseer took some damage, that's for sure. Probably got flesh hooked and then Hormagaunted a bit. Oh, and Termigants as well, perhaps, I guess. Back to the mid. Force Commander flees. We got no natural victory points on this map. Running southwest to northeast. All contested. Rangers on the way now for Maythor. And then a Shuriken, perhaps. Rangers to help spot that sneaky lick to Alpha. Triple cap early on for the red team. Blue team should be able to push back though. Got aspiring champion heretics now. Next purchase might be Eternal War for these fellas. Help them chop through the scouts quickly. Well, chop, cut them down with their bolt guns, I guess I mean. Rangers are up. They've got a sniper rifle and they know how to use it. Got some cool support stuff going on to those fellas. Guardian squad to have their battle equipment. Maybe put some shields up here to help defend the power and stuff. Rangers with a shot on the lick to Alpha doesn't like it. Can't sneak around because the Rangers will spot him. Former Gaunts with Adrenal Glands. What about the other fellas? Yep, double Adrenal Glands in play. Potentially huge damage on the Eldar infantry if they can both get in. But it might be tough because we've got Warshout Banshees. Kinetic Pulse Rangers. Oh, they don't have the Pathfinder gear yet. Maybe they just both, they should just both pile into the Banshees. Flesh Whip one of them. Pile both of the Hormagaunts in. Not sure why the Lictor retreated there. It needs to get Toxin Sacks up as well, but they might want Warriors first. Meanwhile, towards the mid, Chainsword and Bolt Pistol. Sorry, Chainsword and Storm Shield for the Force Commander. And the Plague Sword up for the Plague Champion. And double shotguns. And a Flamer. It's all kicking off around here. Our Space Marines do not have their Eternal War. The power was spent on the Plague Sword, I guess. Warrior Brood it is for Mist. Got Grenade Launcher Heretics now. Might not be the best shout here. I guess that's pretty good. But Scouts... If you're on top of things, can dodge those grenades pretty well. They're good against the attacks, though. Oh, heretics might wipe here. Aspiring champion comes in and keeps them alive. The aspiring champion gives the other models more hit points. I can't remember. Does it tell me here? Yeah, 11 DPS bolt gun. It's not bad. And 22 DPS melee on that aspiring champion, even with the bolt gun. That's pretty damn good. Not bad at all. 329 to 447 on the VPs. It's a one to one cap. I hear Banshees yelling up in the northeast. Warriors with their leaping action. Got a little passive. Hey, what's up, what with this fella? 
This fella's having trouble right here. That's unfortunate. Ranger's getting shots. There's a flesh hook. This guy's super stuck. When they retreat, and then this guy gets killed, they should be okay. But, uh, yeah, did like a little melee leap and got stuck in there. Only way to get out of it is to, to do another melee leap. Are you going to do one against the Farseer? Nope. It's not like they're Hormagaunts that got stuck because they had Synapse and then lost Synapse. Don't think I've ever seen that before. A Warrior Brood getting stuck after their jump. Dawn of Bugs. Eternal War is up on the Chaos Space Marines. Plague Champion just slicing these generators down. This Plague Sword is pretty awesome. Power melee that ignores melee resistance, which is a massive deal. And creates some zombies. Also gives them some more hit points. And more melee skill, of course. There's the Grenade Barrage. You know what? He's done pretty well with it. Hit the scouts with the Barrage both times. Both squads of them, too. Plague Champion getting stuck into the Marines. There's the Fen. Doesn't help you against melee attacks, though. Force Commander's so tough and difficult to deal with when he's got his Storm Shield. Gives him a passive 20% resist against ranged damage. Also some more health. And the defend makes him insanely difficult to deal with. Should be able to get him here though. CSM just wading into melee. And he'll do well against a low level hero. And I don't think he's level yet, has he? No. It's a level 1 Force Commander. Now he's in amongst the heretics. Needs to be careful. Gets away. The CSM were not actually in melee stance there. They might have killed him if they were. A little bit of a slip there from Moon Gecko. Mists Warrior Brood. Are you still stuck, fellas? Yep, yeah, this fella's still stuck. Which is very unfortunate for Moon Gecko. Maythor needs to do him a favor and kill that guy. Banshee's in trouble. Oh, why were you capping, guys? Those Hormagaunts were capping. Could have killed those Banshees easily, I think. They wanted those generators, I guess. And now, have they overextended? No, they get away. No grenade, I noticed, from the Guardians coming out there. And we do have Toxin Sacks. A Dreadnought on the way for Dragon Lore before Moon Gecko even gets to Tier 2. Did the Rangers get their part? Oh, they're inside a garrison. I can't see. This guy's still stuck. The other model seems to be able to move okay. Maybe? Or maybe not. It's not even attacking. Or is it? It's attacking. It's attacking at least. Need to keep them retreated so that this guy dies. Surprised they haven't mentioned in the chat that the fella's stuck. Please shoot him or something. Maybe it's not targetable for some weird reason. They champion with a decent special attack there. Sends the Force Commander flying. Gets a Plasma Pistol kill. Look at that. Doesn't get a zombie though because the Plasma Pistol did it. Does he get away? Gets away. Flame attacks in the garrison. Roasting some heretics. CSM getting some good DPS in. Can they get that Force Commander? They do get the Force Commander. Did it level anything up? CSM at level 2. Heretics at level 2. And the grenade launcher is pretty good against the garrisoned units. But here comes a Space Marine Dreadnought. I hear Banshees yelling. Here they are. Against double Hormagaunts. Which is a dicey fight for them. Farseer might want to invest in Spirit Stones. Banshees might wipe. Banshees do wipe. Is he still stuck? He's still stuck there. A little bit sloppy from Maythor when seeing the double Adrenal Gland Hormagaunts and the Lictor Alpha. I think you should invest in Spirit Stones. They went for the quicker tier 2, I guess, and got a Wraith Lord up, so that's alright. But as Banshees are indeed gone, we now have an Assault Cannon Dreadnought. Point blank shooting that generator down. And now look at this. What is the DPS of this thing again? 55 piercing DPS. Inspiration on kill, but that's only for melee kills. Of course, the devastating Assault Cannon Barrage. Plague Marines up though for Moon Gecko with their snaring missile launcher. Not too bothered by the barrage. They can shake that off. Get another shot in. See it slowing down the movement of the Dreadnought there. Helps other anti-vehicle do its thing. We have Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood and a Venom Brood up now. And this fella is still stuck. 
Gormagon's jumping over things because of the synapse. And eat a special attack from the Farseer. Wraithlord smacks on the node. Gormagons need to be careful. Yeah, the uh, the special attack really messed up their, their coherency there. Venom Brood and Plague Marines on the Dreadnought. Tax. Are you going to turn and swing on that tack? Is that Icon of Nurgle? It is. Dreadnought goes down. But the tacks survive. Oh, oh boy, Dragon Law's down to just the tax squad. Red team are reeling here. That warrior is still stuck. 304 to 215. Can they even recover? Maythor goes tier 3. Dragon Law gets an assault squad. Which is a decent shout here, I think. Although Plague Sword may have something to say about that. Armor of Pestilence also in. 302 to 215 on the VPs. Rangers disrupting the Venom Brood there. Trying to keep that Wraith Lord safe. Grenade is decent. Farseer levels and then uses Levitation Field at the wrong place. Wrong time. Lifts nothing with it. And they protect the Wraith Lord. I don't think they can. Plague Marines are here too. Rangers trying to tie them up. Farseer trying to tie things up. Can he get away? So close. 20 hit points on this guy. Oh, got infiltrated by the webway. They might save it. I think it has saved it. They can't target it if they can't see it. 296 to 205. There's tier 3 for Maythor. Could get a Seer Council. Seer Council will do a hell of a lot of work here, I think. Meanwhile... Assault squad on the field for Dragon Lord Jump Squad. 400 hit points of heavy armor. Good for disruption and generally smacking people up. I had to go turn off my fan because it's getting kind of chilly. Oh, it is a Seer Council. Called in from the Global Bar, I guess. Tier 3 for Moon Gecko. And here's your Seer Council doing their Seer Council things bunch of power melee warlocks that jump on you and provide a damage resistance aura to range the damage and they have a decent chunk of hit points these fellas look at those specials Hormor God sent flying they're gonna wipe and they do not sure why mist is sending more Hormor Gods in I guess maybe alongside the lictor they could do some work here comes the Farseer there's the spirit stones though Again, uses the levitation field in a non-ideal location, but throws some away, at least. The Lictor Alpha did go down to the Seer Council melee, and it didn't drop a model, those guys. They did great work. Farseer now stealing this power back. Wraith Lord's back onto the field. Level 2 needs some more repairs, though. Does not have a shoulder-mounted weapon yet. More attacks for Dragon Law and Tier 3 for Mist. What level's the Plague Champion? Level 3, is done alright. Force Spawn is level 2. Oh, look at this. Fully patched power being taken back. And some forward capping there. And he bashed the gens here. He didn't bash the node. This guy's still stuck. There's the Wraithbone heal. For a tier 3 Wraith Lord. It's alright, innit? Level 4, Farseer on the field. Doesn't seem to want to push the natural power here. Playing defensively. I guess they've got this power. They want to keep it. Plague Marines having a look. Taking Ranger shot. Got a shot on the Wraith Lord. Farseer comes in to tie them up. And there's that Levitation Field. And now comes a Venom Brood. So Wraith Lord needs to be careful. There's some good damage to those Plague Marines, you know. Here come the Seer Council. Plague Marines do explode on death which damages and knocks back nearby enemies, as you see there. And they get taken out. Sloppy from Boom Gecko. I'm not sure what they are looking at here. Is there another fight going on? I don't see anything on the minimap. Great Lord. In melee with the Venom Brood, and they are not moving. They're going to wipe. Mist not paying attention to those fellas. Oh, this fella might finally die, though. And that wipes the Warrior Brood, actually. Mist had a rough fight 
I'm not sure what was going on, but they lost a lot there. Carn effects on the way now for Mist. Chaos Predator tank for Moon Gecko. Stern Guard veterans for Dragon Law. Can the red team get themselves back into this game? They're gonna have tier three vehicle stuff to deal with soon. Which might be dicey. Assault Squad could get their Melter Bomb, of course. Force Commander can get a Power Fist, and the Stern Guard can use their Vengeance Rounds. 272 to 139. Got a zombie assault marine. Could jump him to disrupt the stern guard, but he's just gonna fall apart in a second. There he goes. Barrels of Aura of Decay knockback. Heretics and the Plague Champion now in amongst the stern guard. Bad place for those fellas to be. There's a zombie stern guard. Almost got them with some Doom Blasts there. Not sure how much value they've got out of this Storm Shield. Especially with the melee plague champion around. Gonna see a Mark of Corn Chaos Predator for Moon Gecko. Farseer comes down to the mid. Haven't seen them in the mid very often. But they've got the top sewn up for now with a webway up there too. Lick to Alpha still down. It is a Venom Cannon Carnifex though. Time field thrown out. Using it to escape, it seems. There's a grenade. That was alright. Raythor should have tied up the Carnifex, surely. Farseer trying to grab the mid. Saw a little pulse of damage from the Icon of Nurgle on the Rangers there. What is this? What are Seer Council up to? I don't think they're going to get away, you know. They do not. They wiped. That was a massive mistake from Maythor. What were they chasing? Was there anything there to chase even? Maybe they wiped, some Maybe they wiped something I don't know about. Another Seer Council on the way from Maythor now. Wraith Lord uses Wraith Bone at the wrong time. I guess they would have gone down. Anyway, down goes the Plague Champion. Losses all over the place here. Another Dreadnought on the way for Dragon Lord. It's still Tier 2. The only player that's still Tier 2. And it's, uh, it's a bad shout. A Dreadnought is not what you want here against Venom Cannon Carnifex and a tank. Not sure what they expect to do. Maybe they want to get the multi melter and be aggressive, but I think he's just going to get the dreadnought killed. Got some Mark of Zinch CSM now. Inferno bolters and a demonic plasma gun. Assault squad in trouble. Being smacked around by heretics, they jump the CSM. Here comes the force commander to help. Got the assault squad wipe, I think. Finally fix on retreat path. Can't get it done. Oh, he does get it done. With a Venom Cannon shot. Very topsy-turvy. Fire Dragons on the way now for Maythor. That's a good shout. Help him deal with these vehicle armoured things. And kills the Heretics. Yes, yeah, the Heretics gone. Fancy special attack from the Farseer. Apparently she doesn't need... Is that is that a unique Gravity Blade sink kill? I don't think it is. Apparently she doesn't need the gravity blade to float things in the air. 218 to 105. It is indeed a multi melter dreadnought. And it's already taken a whole bunch of damage. Predator tank levels to two. Being very aggressive. Stone Guard need to switch the vengeance rounds. There we go. Gives them some anti-vehicle. But they don't have a potential multi uh, potential melter bomb anymore. See a council here just tying up this Carnifex. Can't do a huge amount of damage to it with their power melee. Oh, see, it might get a cap off. It's a double here for Blue Team, though. Another Chaos Predator on the way for Moon Gecko. Scouts for Dragon Lord to help repair things. There's the Fire Dragons. Got their Exarch with that Fire Pipe. Look at the damage guide up on them, is it? Or is that just their, their own self buff? Is a. Levitation field again. Almost wiped those former blocks. I think they're going to make it out. Oh, they got two more former up. Missed. 218 to 42. Farseer's going to die, I think. Down she goes on the VP. Might be able to get a revive immediately. Looks like they're going to try it. And that might level the Force Commander. Does it? It does, hey, level 4 force commander. 
Stern Guard using their Kraken bolts as they should against the heavy armor CSM. No, I'm wrong. I was looking at attacks with their plus icon, thinking it was the Kraken bolts. These guys have their vengeance rounds loaded in to shoot at the Carnifex. Maybe they did. Maybe they switched to the to the vengeance rounds. Attacks have a plasma gun though. This is why those CSM died so quickly. Now have a Plague Fist, Plague Champion. The mid is uncapped. Some setup teams would be good here, I think, for both teams. I mean, Tyranids can't get any of them, but no Havocs, no Devastators, no Shuriken. There's not much the Dreadnought can do. I don't think. Maybe send it northeast to look after the VP or something. 218 to 42. Look how much red Moon Gecko has. They lose a tank. And they can drop a nuke. Almost two nukes. Here comes a Swarm Lord for Mist. Not sure. Where's the Dreadnought gun? It's just backed off a bit. Force Commander flees. Oh, Maythor now does have a Guardian Weapon Team. Did they already have it when I was saying they don't have any? They might have. Scout's getting some repairs in. 210 to 42. There's a time field. See a Councillor Idol here. They could be bashing or helping in the mid or something. Dida Bright Lance, anti vehicle weapon, good DPS. You don't get a vehicle snare off it though. Empyreal Abyss from Moon Gecko is a decent hit. Doesn't wipe any of them, but it was a decent hit. And pulls in the Farseer. And she flees. Here's the Runes of Reaping 193 to 42 on the VPs. Big champion trying to repair his his Chaos Predator now. Oh, Tyr Tyranno Formation from Mist wipes out. Wipes out the Bright Lance. Well, there you go. One way to deal with it. Blue team focusing on Southwest and mid right here. Dreadnought is still alive. Still functioning. Well, he's half alive in there, the fella. Somewhat living, let's say. There's a Laz Cannon from Dragon Law. It's like they heard me. They started getting set up teams. Carnifex needs to run back to base. There's no point in standing here. One shot from any kind of anti vehicle damage, it's gone. Yeah, he needs to go back to base and heal up. Well, look at that. Former Gaunts on the northeastern VP. Another Guardian weapon team on the way for Maythor. These guys bashing power. Here's a Swarm Lord, super unit for Tyranids. Powerful melee combatant provides a speed and reinforcement synapse as well. Stern Guard veterans and Multimeter Dreadnought. Had a look at it, but I didn't want to chase. Down goes the Fast here, trying to decap. 189 to 30. A single, a double now for Blue Team. Gonna be a triple, I think. This might be the last throw of the dice for the Red Team. There's a Noxious Cloud. Force Commander needs to be tying up the CSM, not the tank. Gets smacked by the Plague Fist. They just pop and they should have no fear. They need to try and... I was going to say they need to try and tank the Noxious Cloud, but maybe that wouldn't have worked. There's the double cap anyway. Blue team have it. Couldn't quite get onto the mid there. Dragon Law. Did that the Bright Lance getting shots in? They got the tank down, right? Yeah, it had just gone down. We had a level 2 Lictor Alpha with Adrenal Glands at the end. Level 6 Plague Champion was kind of bossing the mid, doing pretty well. Level 6 Farseer, and a level 5 Force Commander. There you have it guys, not the highest level game, but a fun map and a fun one. Good back and forth. You need a new, you need a new pelt buddy. A new pelt would do alright. Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.